Hi there guys, in this video we're going to have a look at Battlefield 1 Open Beta that only came out a few days ago. Uh, I've been playing it a bit on and off and I don't know what to say. It definitely seems a better version of the Battlefield franchise but it still suffers from a lot of what the new games do which is perks and unlocking stuff which I am not a big fan of. Uh, I feel that just gives an unfair advantage to certain players who play it more. Uh, for example, I don't get on with a lot of the guns that are g given at this stage. Uh, the assault rifle I'm not very keen on. Uh, the medic would be better if he had a better main gun as well. And the sport gun is pretty useless um, at long range or even medium range. Uh, I do find the sniper is a bit overpowered and a lot of the times you will get killed just with the sniper. Uh, a lot of the times you just get in the wrong circumstances and you can't do a lot about it. Um, like you get a tank or something drive up to you and there's very little you can do. Yeah, I think uh, the snipers seem to be pretty overpowered. Uh, SLI with 2980 Ti's is working but I wouldn't say it's 100%. Uh, this is with a. Where the hell does that come from? Oh, okay. Um, two cards are working, but it doesn't feel necessarily right. Uh, you can see the usage at the top isn't kind of quite right. And I've known times where the actual two cards um, are going to generate about 40 frame rate and they're only being used at 50%. Uh, to even get SLI working on the latest drivers I actually had to modify the SLI profile which was not ideal and I don't know if I've fact fact done everything correct. Uh, you can see now the usage is not kind of fair, 88 and 77. Um, but it's better in no SLI which was what happened when you put the first driver or the new driver in. So I can see people miles away, but there's nothing they can do about it. And then somebody just snipers you. So I do think this skip rewind thing's a bit crap. I think this is a bit childish. They didn't need to put that in. Let's go in there. What? Jeez, what was shooting me then? They're shooting us. Is there something down there? Am I leveled up? We have taken objective Is there something going on? It's hard to know who's actually shooting each other because uh, a lot of the items are pretty difficult to tell sometimes. I know there's a little red mark, but sometimes it takes a while for the red mark to... Jeez, this is about to blow up. Oh. Let me guess, this... oh, I thought it was going to be a sniper. Um. Seems to be... Uh, so I also find it very difficult to actually get the tanks and the uh, vehicles and most of the time they're just pretty much gone. Uh, there's a lot of these jeeps around but it seems to be nobody wants them and they're not that great. But they get around the map quick but other than that you do leave yourself pretty vulnerable and you can't shoot anything. Most of the time people are just going on their own. Take an objective frame. Um, let's have a look. Must be a bloody plane on me then. Whoops. 
So you gotta you can leave yourself pretty vulnerable and guns absolutely useless. Where the heck is somebody under there? Yeah, you find so many times you just get such shot from some different direction. You have no clue where you're getting shot from half the time. Might even actually do a kill one time. So I think you can see it was happening there a little bit. The frame rate was under 60 and the two cards were not actually doing fully out. We have taken objective so there is times where it doesn't feel kind of right. Like I said, a lot of the guns, you just, I don't feel a lot of confidence with these guns. They just feel that uh, they're not going to shoot anything. I think you're the stabby. Where's the... Uh, I don't know. Somebody up that way. We have lost objective. They're gone. But yeah, you will find very often a sniper will just pick you off. And you haven't got a clue where it came from. I think somebody else got it. No. I don't know. I don't think this is doing particularly that well, are we? No. But yeah, I used to play Battlefield 2 a lot in the past, way back when it was a quite a thing. Uh, I don't remember the unlocks being that kind of overpowered on it. Um, I said clear the guns here are just totally inaccurate. I mean, how can I? shoot something like that. The gun is spraying all over the place. I said so I don't like a lot of these weapons. Um, let's, try, let's try the medic I suppose. Don't think we've got any choice. No. You can use a shovel though, I suppose that's exciting. Yeah you find quite a lot of the times as well that let's try the train. Yeah. Everyone's gone in the train. You find a lot of times people will just run up to you and melee you, and there's not much you can do. Um, like I said, you've got to sort of. So you like this now, you're basically really vulnerable to anybody. We are losing objective George. And probably can't hit nothing. We have taken objective apples. Down there. Nope. 
Let me guess. Turret thing. Yeah. So I don't know what's been happening with this. Um, I find it very difficult. Don't know what that's flashing for. So yeah, we are getting the 60 frame rate. Uh, I don't think we have a lot of options on the graphical settings. Uh, we are for 4K. Uh, we've got brightness setting, sync, uh, field of view, motion blur I don't like. And that's about it. don't think that's going to really help. Looks like a tank down there. We have lost objective apples. No. Bet you can't get on the train. No. Okay. Some crates in the mid air. Bloody melee. Uh, looks like we're getting around about 12, 13 gigabytes of RAM being used, uh, so it's not too bad on the RAM side of things. Uh, processors, it's hard to say with the processor essentially because it's hyper threaded and it's hard to know. That's what if when it says 31, 32%, if that means hyper-threaded cores as well, uh, I think that does, so it potentially could mean it's 60% usage, um, even though it says 30 something odd percent. We have lost objective stuff. But yeah, I'm definitely yeah, very out of practice with this type of game. I've not played uh, Battlefield for a long time. And I don't expect to get any... Right. What the f... Is he, what's he doing? Yeah. Okay. Is he doing something to the floor then? <laughs> um. So yeah, we don't do too well. I've never been in that train. Like I said, you do find it very difficult to actually get tanks and planes and that. And I don't remember the Battlefield 2 when I used to play that. It used to struggle so much to actually get vehicles. Um, obviously the vehicles is quite a major thing. Uh, the horse uh, you can get isn't particularly great in some respects because it leaves you very vulnerable. Um, there's a sort of um, personal carrier which seems quite good. Uh, I think that's on the other side. Um, planes and that you really struggle to even get on a plane. Uh, they always seem to be grabbed. Uh, and then you do get an odd tank or so but the chances of you getting tanked seems pretty remote. Uh, it doesn't seem that many on each, uh, well, on this map. Uh, the open beta only has this one map, I think. Uh, so you will get a bit bored of it over a while. I think it's going to run for another couple of days, and after which, uh, I think that's the end of the open beta. Um, I think the pricing is something that is a bit of a thing for me. I mean, they're charging, I think, 50 quid for the base game, which is expensive. Uh, then there is a kind of deluxe version, I think, which gives you some more sort of perks and stuff like that. And they want 65 quid for that, which seems a lot. We have taken objective duff. Jeez. 
Yay, got one. Which uh, definitely seems a lot. And then there's the Dulux, I think, or Ultimate Edition. And I think they want 105 quid for that. And for that you get uh, this kind of season pass. And I think that is a lot of money you're asking for. Yay, got another one. Ah, uh, jeez. What the fuck? Where about? So vehicles like that as well only allow one person in, which I think is kind of not very good. I'd like to see definitely, I mean, that's very hard to get that and one person in it. It's just about to end this round, I think. Well, at least I've got a few kills at the end of the round. Even though we lost, but anyway. So yeah, I think um, Battlefield 1 is definitely an improvement on the previous uh, Battlefield 3 and 4, which I didn't play that much to be honest. I did try the fourth one for about five minutes and just didn't get on with it. I just kept getting killed over and over and I just didn't feel it was much fun. Uh, obviously, it depends how you feel with it. You probably, different people get on with different games obviously. Um, right. But I definitely feel like they've made a definitely a change to this game. However, it still seems to be suffering from the modern lot of modern releases where they try to give perks and unlocks. And I'm not very keen on that, especially in this type of game. I'd rather that you just played it and basically got stuff. Well, you've just played it and had the stuff you got and pick it up rather than unlock more stuff and better weapons and it just becomes a bit unfair for new players because you're going to have to fight people with much better stuff and it can just wipe you out pretty quick um, I said being the open beta this is a very limited version of the game I don't know if I will pick it up I might at a later date if it becomes a lot cheaper I mean 105 quid for the main game and extra content is very extreme um, as you can see SLI is sort of working and that's something I would like to see definitely working very well uh, obviously they will get that sorted um, like I said it was supposed to have been working in the closed speeder and also an older driver it was supposed to work in but I did get it working eventually with the Imrava Inspector thing. However, uh, I don't know if I've set everything quite right, but I shouldn't really have to be able to do that. Shouldn't need to do that to get SLI working. I did read somewhere that SLI was disabled for the open beta, which seems a bit strange. I would have thought they would have wanted you to have the full thing, but anyway. So let's uh, have a look at Battlefield One. Sorry if I sucked at it, but haven't played these type of games for quite a lot of time um, I used to be pretty well in with this type of game because I used to do Unreal Tournament a lot I don't know if you remember that game uh, I used to do the Assault mode and I used to do that a lot but I haven't done FPS I haven't done multiplayer FPS for quite a long time I tend to um, more favour different type of games like puzzles and um, sci-fi and that sort of stuff uh, so I've kind of gone away from it and we're out of practice of it quite seriously as you can see so but anyway this is not what this video is about this is basically having a look at Battlefield Open Beta with 2980 TIs in SLI and to see how it runs and how it plays um, like I said hopefully um, you like this video comment and subscribe always helps me uh, thanks guys for watching, take care out there.